Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So this is the third part of Union Budget 2019-20 analysis. So let's start um, with housing, right? So the government assured to provide the electricity and the clean cooking facility uh, by 2022 to all willing rural families by 2022. In the Ujwala, 50 million LPG connections have been provided to women. Uh, who are below uh, you know the bpl and the sobhagya yojana in the sobhagya yojana the tagline was har ghar bijli electricity to all households so this one is for clean uh, cooking facility and the sobhagya was from electricity to everybody then pradhan mantri awas yojana gramin it will provide 1.95 crore houses to eligible beneficiaries in its second phase with all amenities like toilet, electricity, LPG connection. So the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Grameen, it's going to provide 1.95 crore houses. So this one is important here. This point is important. Okay. And this 22 by 2022. So this one is also important. This target, uh, target by 2022, it's also important. So sanitation. Swachh Bharat mission will be expanded to undertake the sustainable so, uh, solid management system. So sustainable solid management system in every village is also part of Swachh Bharat mission. Okay, so that's really important. Sustainable solid management, uh, solid waste management uh, management is also part of Swachh Bharat mission. Digitization under Bharat net. The internet connectivity will be expanded to local bodies in every panchayat. Okay, so really important under Bharat Net. Okay, and the funding will be from Universal Obligation Fund under Triple P, PPP. <clears throat> so connectivity, 1,25,000 kilometer of roads will be constructed in next five years under Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana Phase 2. Rural economy scheme of uh, for upgradation uh, and regeneration of traditional uh, industries Safurti so basically what Safurti is making clusters uh, industry clusters for example in Ludhiana in my hometown uh, home city uh, there is hosiery cluster there is cycle parts cluster there is sewing machine clusters right so the target of Safurti is to make uh, clusters right industry clusters with special focus on bamboo honey and khadi okay so really really important what is Sufurti? you should be aware about it so under promotion uh, under the aspire schemes now what is aspire scheme so aspire scheme is basically promoting the startups in the agri agri industry okay agro rural industries so it is promoting the startups so uh, the livelihood business in incubators and the technology business incubators to be set up in 20 by 20 uh, 2020 to develop 75,000 entrepreneurs in the aspire scheme okay 75,000 new entrepreneurs to be added in this particular scheme to be benefited from this particular scheme uh, Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana to be established to uh, so this uh, this particular scheme, the Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana, please remember this is for the fisherman. Okay, to establish robust fisheries management framework. So what is the purpose of Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana? What, what you should remember Pradhan, from Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana? To establish robust fisheries management framework. To establish robust Fisheries management uh, framework including modernization, productivity, quality and control. Okay. Uh, in the agriculture, private entrepreneurship to be supported for value addition to farmer produce. And then daring through cooperatives to support the cooperative to, uh, you know, 10,000 new farmer producer organization cooperative to be formed, right? And creating the infrastructure for the cooperative for cattle feed manufacturing procurement processing and marketing of milk right and the government is going to work with farmers to benefit from enam what is enam enam is the online marketplace enam, enam is the online trading platform for agricultural commodities okay that is what enam is 
then the zero based budgeting that thing is particularly in the news i was just watching the ravish kumar show mai bahut dekhta hu so in that particular show also i have seen it and he actually explained this much better than our finance minister right so basically zero budget farming is farming without fertilizers without any expensive pesticides so the farmers are using cow dung uh the neem uh, seeds as pesticides right uh, cow dung as fertilizer and neem uh, seeds as pesticides so the farmer is not spending uh, on fertilizers and pesticides so it leads to prosperity in the farming community right uh, the zero budget uh, be, uh, budget natural farming as the food and agriculture organization uh, of united nations so this particular uh, name the zero budget farming is coined by food and agriculture organization of united nation right so that's what uh, zero budget farming is it's really popular in southern part of india for the water management jal jeevan mission is launched and the objective is to provide tap water is to provide tap water pipe water or tap water by 2024 to all rural households in india to provide tap water to all rural households in india as of now it is around 80.5% uh, rural households they are having access to uh the to the clean water right they actually have access not in their house but they have access to clean water rest uh, 15% the quality of water available to them is bad uh, and then rest they do not have access to water at all uh, i mean it's like 40 liters liters per day so if per day per person if uh one person is getting 40 liters per day then we can say that quality water is available to that person but if the quality of water is not good so around 80.5% uh in india people in india getting more than 40 liters 40 liters per day per person in india 15% around 15% the water they are getting the quality of water they are getting is not good and rest of the people Uh, they are not getting even 40 liters per day okay around 4.5 something percent they are not getting quality water no water at all less than 40 percent 40 liters a day so jal shakti abhiyan under jal shakti abhiyan over exploited blocks across 250 districts have been identified and the government of india is going to work on it okay the ma for msmes 2% interest subvention so 2% rebate on the interest on fresh or incremental loans to be provided for all gst registered msme so benefit kya hua gst register karne ka this is a benefit to be given under the interest subvention scheme for msme so this one is really important how much interest subvention is provided it is 2% so payment platform for msme the msmes who are working on uh, the government tenders sarkari tenders now there will be a platform for them to file their bills online and they'll they'll get their payments online actually okay and then the pension coverage pradhan mantri karam yogi uh, karam yogi manthan scheme the traders and shopkeepers with the annual turnover of 1.5 crores they'll be covered in this particular scheme and i have uh, you know made a proper i am providing the details about the scheme so according to the epfo who is eligible uh, he should be the uh, i mean before this uh, you know uh, before this uh, budget till now the unorganized workers uh, with the entry age of 18 to 40 years monthly income of 50000 and below and he should uh, he should not be engaged in uh, organized sector and he should not be an income tax payer he should have an aadhar card and saving bank account he was eligible for this particular scheme but now onwards the traders whose turnover is less than 1.5 crore is eligible under pradhan mantri karam yogi mandhan scheme very important 
न्यू इंडिया स्पेस लिमिटेड अ न्यू कमर्शियल आर्म ऑफ इसरो हैज बिन क्रिएटेड फॉर द कमर्शियल प्रोजेक्ट्स द इसरो इज प्रोवाइडिंग द लॉन्च व्हीकल्स इसरो इज प्रोवाइडिंग द टेक्नोलॉजीज सो ऑल दोज कमर्शियल प्रोजेक्ट्स अ सेपरेट एंटिटी द न्यू इंडिया स्पेस लिमिटेड विच इज द कमर्शियल आर्म ऑफ इसरो ओनली हैज बिन क्रिएटेड ओके for the education new education national education policy uh, to transform indian education will be set up as of now not much in, much information is available so national research foundation will be set up and it will assimilate the research grants provided by all the ministries right to fund and promote so it will assimilate the research grants so as of now it is really difficult for the students to get information regarding the grants available from multiple ministries multiple resources now the national research foundation it will be their job okay so 400 crores will be allotted for making world class institution i don't know how but 400 crore is not enough to make world class institution multiple world class institution in india but that much budget is allocated study in india is started with the purpose of uh, with the purpose to bring foreign students for higher education in india okay uh in this particular ppt it's important new india space limited in this particular ppt uh, le- uh, slide national research foundation nrf and its uh, function is important so national sports education board will be developed for sports person because most of the sports person they start their sporting career by the age of 17 or 18 so they are not able to continue their education for them national sports education board will be developed under the khelo india scheme for the startups a dedicated dd channel will uh, will be started for startups and the government will continue stand up india scheme for the period of 2020 to 2025 with the banks providing financial assistance for demand based businesses for the women shift in approach from women centric policies to women led policies right so a committee consisting of government and private stakeholder is proposed on gender budgeting in the self help groups right overdraft every member of self help group will get overdraft facility of 5000 rupee uh, self help help uh, group member with a jandhan account that person will get overdraft of 5000 rupee and one woman in every self help group will be eligible for loan up to 1 lakh under the mudra scheme soft soft power the government proposes aadhar card for nris uh, the instant aadhar card till now the nris whenever they come to india they need to wait for 180 days which most of them they don't do that they go back to their country so they do not they do not get the aadhar card but now uh, they'll get the aadhar card within a week right the government will integrate traditional artisans with the global market that's what the budget speech was the development of 17 iconic tourism sites into the world class uh, tourist destination and there will be a digital repository to be made to preserve tribal culture heritage so that's all for today students uh, we have already started the rbi grade b course the ibps rrb scale 2 scale 3 for scale 2 we are doing gbo and we are doing marketing officer and agriculture officer and we also doing the scale 3 and then for the credit officer level exams we are also providing the courses so all the courses are available on bankexamstoday.com learn.bankexamstoday.com or bankexamstoday's mobile application you can also call us and please subscribe the channel that's really important for me and like this video so the proper quizzes will be available on the mobile application so i'll recommend you i'll request you this is the icon of the mobile app bank exams today install the mobile app and take the quizzes so that's all for today this is the list of students who cracked rbi grade b ibps so marketing seb grade a nabard grade a uh, bank of india credit officer so vijaya bank credit officer also also there i forgot to insert the picture but that's all for today students uh, in case there is any doubt in your mind you can whatsapp me uh, i'm going to reply all your messages even on what uh, even on sunday but please have patience so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye